Hi, right, this afternoon we're going to take this uh, 1972 or 73, I can't remember which, but it's L registration, um, Land Rover Series 3, 88 inch diesel hardtop, um, seven seater for a spin. Um, I picked this up from the, uh, the last owner last week and drove about 70 odd miles on it, and I must admit it was a joy to drive. It's really well sorted, um, trundled along really quite happily. They're not the fastest things in the world, these uh, Series diesels, but um, yeah, it, it uh, trundled along and indicated 50 miles an hour all the way back from, uh, from Wiltshire. Um, very pleasant, you know, so it's thoroughly sorted. Previous owner found it as an abandoned restoration project and it seems to have been off the road since the mid 1990s. Uh, he found it a couple of years ago um, and took it on, um, finished it off and he's now working on a 109 of similar age which he's found, um, which who knows, we might be acquiring that at some point in the future uh, if this one's anything to go by. Anyway, let's take it for a spin. Um, all the warning lights, come well, on, what warning lights there are, you've got oil pressure and uh, and charge light. Obviously you have a cold start light for when you need the cold start, but as we've just been driving it now, uh, we don't need that. But it does start nicely whether it's hot or cold, not a problem there at all. Springs into life. Let me turn this round a bit. This will be a bit noisy because there's no soundproofing really in, uh, in this. Um, and also the, uh, uh, the phone is mounted on a gyroscopic mount on the on the sliding window and the sliding windows do move about a little bit so you have to bear with us on that. Get this into a reasonable position. And we'll, uh, we'll take it out. So, um, no signs of any overheating from the motor. The temperature gauge sits even at a constant 50 miles an hour, just above the, the normal mark on the temperature gauge. Exactly where it is now, in fact. So yeah, engine seems to be in room health, and it's not a really smoky diesel either, this one. Clutch and gearbox both feel nice. There's no um, synchro branch into second gear or anything, and there's no jumping out of gear either. If I let my foot off the throttle, there's no uh, backlash in the transmission. And it steers properly. I'm not having to do all this to fight it down the road. It's going, uh, going exactly where it's placed. It steers well. And it's actually very, very rattle free as I hope you can hear. shape they're not um, bottoming out or crashing over bumps or anything it's, um, for a series and actually rides quite nicely